In this example, we will learn how to attach a document to the send email workflow step inside a K2 workflow using any smart object from the context browser that exposes stored documents in an underlying data source. On my workflow design canvas, I already have a send email step embedded within a simple workflow meant to send a terms of service agreement document out to new customers during an onboarding process. My document lives within a document library for company policy documents, and I have a smart object already created for that document library as well. I have configured a simple message body to give a new customer more context as to why they are receiving this message. To get an attachment into the message, I'll click on the Add Attachment option here at the bottom of the config window to open up an empty slot. From here, open up the context browser by clicking on the context icon in the upper right corner. Select the Smart Objects Context Field tab at the bottom of the configuration area. Of course, I can select any smart object in here that I need that contains the ability to pull documents back. But in this example, I'll open up the SharePoint 2013 group and go down into my policy documents library. Upon opening this smart object, I'm going to then select the get document method. However, any of these get document methods will work, including the list based methods. Within get document, I'll drag over the file based context field called document since that will contain the actual document I want when the smart object call returns the data. Because the name filter input is a required field here, I'll add the document name value, which is termsofservice.pdf. This can also come in from other reference fields within the context browser, depending on your design, if you don't want to hard code a document name. Fill in other filter input fields as needed, Close the Smart Field Composer and that's it. You can add more attachments as needed, so when this particular message goes out to customers, they will receive an email with the Terms of Service document attached, as shown here.